Now, Samantha, you recently wrote for Entertainment Weekly that uh, an article that discusses how the popularity of reboots is changing the way showrunners actually decide to end a show or not mm -hmm. end a show. Sure. What are the insiders saying about this? It's really interesting. There's kind of the one side of it where they're talking about it's simply easier to say goodbye to people that you work with when you know that there's a possibility you could see them again. So no one dies anymore. <laughs> so no one dies anymore. <laughs> okay. It is. There's a lot of discussion around the fact that there might not be another Lost series finale anytime soon, or even The Sopranos, which was a little bit left up in the air, but was a little bit edgier, was a little more daring. People so what might... happened at the end of Lost, Samantha? Everyone died. No! <laughs> Really? You weren't supposed to tell me. <laughs> yeah. I then, never watched. And then they showed their afterlife, so they're super, super dead. They're super dead. They're super dead, which Damon Deader Lindelof. Deader than six feet yeah. under, Justina. They, they <laughs> killed us. I was just talking to Freddie Rodriguez about this. I'm like, why did he kill us? We could have made a movie. <laughs> But we're yeah. dead. Nobody cares anymore. We're dead. Yeah. And that's kind of exactly the point of people might not be doing that so much anymore because 10 years from now, they could be getting a call that says, hey, we want to bring your show back. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see how finales maybe are a little less final than they have been in the past.